and talk to one of Donald Trump's uh, leading advisers, uh, Pastor Mark Burns. Mark, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here, James. Good to see you again. Oh, now, uh, an overwhelming victory in the U.S. election contest in Iowa. Uh, a lot of people didn't think that was going to happen, uh, but it has. Can those people trying to prosecute Donald Trump at every corner keep him from becoming the next president? Absolutely not, um, James. I mean, again, you, you saw it. What happened in Iowa, you're going to see it happen in New Hampshire, and you're most definitely going to see it happen here in my state, the great state of South Carolina, the overwhelming support of President Donald Trump. Again, just yesterday, breaking news, my friend Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina dropped out of the presidential race, just now endorsed President Donald Trump. So the Republican coalitions are coming together to support Donald Trump. And so this this Fool, th th this foolish uh, attempt to block mm. Donald Trump from being the next president would be a foolish thing for the liberal. I mean, they've done crazy things, but that would be even more. They're worse strengthening him. Mm. Right. You, every time they do that, we find more corruption, like in Atlanta, in Georgia, the DA that is having an affair with the leading prosecutor against Donald Trump and paying him way more money. This is all documented. Uh, it's uh, like a banana corruption. republic. Right, if that is happening if, in America. If Donald Trump wins the next election, um, do you think he can make the world a safer place? Without question. I mean, he's done it before. I mean, we were not in any type of war when Donald Trump was president. But here we are with Korea. Mm. I mean, here we are with uh, 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 Russia invading Ukraine, right? Iran? We're seeing China on the borders, right? We're seeing the, 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 the rumors of wars, the Bible calls rumors of wars. That is happening because people don't respect or, or, or have respect for America like they used to. And but Biden, Biden, Trump, that Biden, didn't happen. Biden could have carried on with the Abraham Accords, but he didn't want to finish it because he didn't want Trump to get all the uh, praise. So they've actually caused this problem with Iran by Biden's, uh, Biden's stubbornness. Why, why uh, is it? And, and, and don't let Donald hear me say this. I know you play these shows to him occasionally, but do not hear him. Let him. He loves say this. Show. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, and I think I'm sorry to say I think Donald will be great as the next president of the of the US. But why, are, in such an enormous country, with so much power, are your potential leaders so old? Well, you know, that's a very good question. I mean, I think it has a lot to do with wisdom. I mean, again, I think Donald Trump has proven himself to be a strong warrior. I can tell you right now, we were on the plane with the president, and we had just done three events speaking all over the nation and myself and Rudy Giuliani and everybody that was on the plane, we were exhausted heading to our fourth event. And yet Donald Trump, strong as an ox, going through magazines, going through uh, book reports, constantly moving. I mean, mm. this guy is an ox. He is not like the, uh, unfortunately, weekend at Bernie's, um, um, you know, Biden, mm. uh, weekend at Biden. That's a very popular show here in America that those that get it, that he's pretty much dead. He's a dead man walking, and I pray that he gets the help that he needs. But he clearly is not mentally able to be the next president of the United States of America. Donald Trump is the complete opposite. That man is a pit bull. When I hit him on the back in the Oval Office and he turned and looked at me, he gave me a look like, Mark, hit me one more time. We're going to be having words because that man <laughs> is a strong pick boy. Even He's on top of everything as well, isn't he? He's always looking at the media and he seems to know world situations, which is unusual for an American president. Well, I mean, I guess he's most definitely in the know because he's a people's president. That's why mm. there's overwhelming support for Donald J. Trump to be the 47th president, even amongst black men. We see the indictment that's coming down. And again, for the first time, President Trump now knows what it's like to be a black man in America because that has happened over 400 years to countless the numbers of other right. black men that have been indicted. Donald Trump is winning the support of the black Mark, community. And this Mark. is... Oh, this is just the beginning. I've got to ask you this question. I mean, a lot of people on the Democratic side try and paint him as a racist, a far-right winger. Why do they do that? And why do so many people in the black community... You, absolutely right, I've spoken to many people um, who seem to think Trump is is their leader. He's also, and I'm, I'm not wishing, I know you're a pastor, not wishing to be blasphemous, but he's he's also got a kind of messiah uh, thing about him, hasn't he? 
Well, no, I don't think that's the case. I do think that there are people who supported Ronald Reagan the same, just like they supported uh, Barack Obama, right? Um, uh, 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 and even loser Hillary Clinton. Right. I think people are just excited and motivated that for the first time in a long time, we have a candidate that is not speaking to corporate America. Donald Trump said, it, even on the debate stage, if you want the tax code to change, then change it. If you want people, if you want the rich to stop cheating the tax code, then change the code. I'd use the code to my advantage. That doesn't make me stupid. That makes me smart. And so that's the kind of a leader that knows how to communicate to everyday Americans, speaking the language, closing the borders. We got to close the borders. Do you know what's happening right now in Dallas, Texas, right? That Biden is essentially almost declaring war on Texas right now that, that, that Texas Governor Abbott has pushed out the uh, a federal uh, a federal a federal border border agents and 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 yet the federal government Biden is threatening to take action against Texas if they don't mm. open up the borders. This is happening right here in America. That's why we need Donald J. Trump to come back here and get the economy back where it belongs. Biden's economy has destroyed America. Trump. The Trump raised America, and America knows that. We got to close the border, stop this active invasion that is happening in America, get Joe Biden out of office, and make sure we restore our democracy that the Constitution protects. Well, if that, that happens and he gets in at the, next, um, at the next election, maybe he could come over and do the same for us with the illegals coming in yeah. on our southern shore. But last time you were on, you said something. I wasn't sure whether you said it in joke or whether you meant it. Uh, but Donald has uh, now shown that he has, in the last 10, 15 years, become quite religious. Uh, and you said that uh, you thought he might have been sent by God to uh, help the world out. Do you really think well, that? Well, the Bible's 100%, um, and James, the Bible's very clear, very clear, that God chooses the leaders. However, uh, and, and I know that it doesn't necessarily always make sense to us, but God raised up Donald Trump. It is clear that God has given, uh, raised Donald Trump to empower the modern church to carry out the Great Commission in this dispensation, dispensation time period. Is God that... is anointing Donald Trump to do that, and that's why we are winning. And and again, if you can oh. see your lips moving, but your yeah. your sound's gone. Huh? In South Carolina, oh, in, oh, South Carolina yeah. in, in, in South Carolina. We just passed a law blocking transgender surgeries to minors. Good. This is a major thing that has happened in America, and, and the country is rising up against this woke agenda led by Joe Biden. Yeah. Um, listen, uh, you've gone sideways on our mm. screen. You lost weight, though. You're looking good. You're looking good, man. Uh, uh, you, oh, lo you look very good. Even listen. sideways. Oh, there you are. You're oh, back. back. Can I ask no. one question? Hi, it's Lizzie Hunter here. Can I ask a quick question? It, sure. Sorry. It seems to me whatever Biden throws at Trump, any dirt, mm. it just makes Trump stronger. more popular and yeah. stronger mm. by the minute. Mm. And, and Biden is just losing this battle, isn't he? Definitely. Well, I mean, that's just another proof, the, 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 the piggyback on, uh, uh, on what James just asked. That's another proof that the hand of God is on the life of Donald J. Trump. This is unprecedented. This Donald Trump, in, in any traditional sense, would have been kicked out of the race back in 2015, 2016, when I was with him, mm. right? There is no earthly reason for him to be as popular as he is unless the hand of God is over this man's life. He is anointed to be the 47th president of the United States of America. They should have just left Donald Trump alone, but they have made him unto the voice of the voiceless and a champion to those who feel like nobody fights for him. He is most definitely our warrior here in 2023 and 2024. Donald, we'll talk... Donald. Sorry, that's a slip. Mark, uh, Mark, we'll talk again soon for the moment. Stay warm. I know it's cold over there at the moment. Mm. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, if God is choosing all the leaders, what's he doing in the Middle East then? Mm. Mm. He picked Biden as well, didn't he? Yeah. And Sunak.